Hello, it's Jeffrey Lee Puckett with the uh, Forecastle Festival, CourierJournal.com, here with my good buddy Patrick Callahan with My Morning Jacket. Well, I mean, it's not quite as glamorous as people like to think. Uh, there aren't backstage parties or, or limo rides around Louisville uh, with, with the stars. Um, but you do get to talk to uh, an awful lot of people you admire, and uh, that has been pretty much an unending uh, thrill for me because the vast majority of time the people end up being really super good people. Jeffrey Lee Puckett is a great writer. As a matter of fact, Jeffrey Lee Puckett is, is basically one of the best writers at this newspaper. I enjoy as an editor just reading his copy. I've always felt that I had total freedom to cover any event coming up, any artist, any, any concert, any band I wanted to interview. You know, they're always fine. They're, you know, they, they assume I know more about rock and roll than they do, just like I know they know how to cover murder and fire better than I do. We are here to um, inform the public and let people know what's happening in the arts. I mean, we realize how important it is to this paper and how important it is to the community. Some days can be really crazy. I've had days where it starts with interviewing somebody, you know, pretty famous in the morning on the phone. But it's a whole different scene to be doing uh, online videos and have them up on the CourageJournal.com and then head down to Wave TV where they need me to just sort of sit in and help them interview somebody like Leonard Skinner, you know. He definitely is somebody who has his, his ears to the ground on just about everything that's going on musically, culturally in, in the city. He's like a, a living, breathing uh, encyclopedia of, of, of culture here. It's just, it, it's amazing. Jeffrey has been incredibly important to people like me uh, in helping people discover the truth about music. We would never have made it off the ground if it weren't for his support. My Morning Jacket has become the most successful rock band Louisville's ever produced. And the Forecastle Festival is known around the world. I mean, it started at a very small level and, and they were people who I knew just from seeing around, from shopping at Ear Ecstasy, you know, they're like, oh, Jim, you're in a band now, huh? <laughs> you gonna do anything with that? You know? he, he walks a great artistic line of being truthful and, and telling you know, the public if he thinks something isn't good, but not doing it in a mean-spirited way, just to be mean. People, I think they expect you to be honest, and you know, they expect you to do your job just like they're doing their job. You know how into music someone is when you walk in their house, and his house looks like somebody took a machine gun and just shot records everywhere, and stereo equipment, and magazines about music, and you know, his life is dedicated to music. Well, you've heard the old story about the more creative you are, the messier you are. Uh, I'd like to think that's true. But my office is the only one that was officially ruled a fire hazard. He is a fan of music, first and foremost. I don't see the scathing reviews that you see out of other critics. When he reviews something, it's as a fan wanting to, to, exp wanting to share the love he has of music with other people. Puckett is a large voice that a lot of people trust and listen to. He is an essential cornerstone of, of Louisville music, and you know, I hope he's always a voice here for, for music and the arts, because we sure need him.